Are you for or against the right or the left hemisphere? I'm for the underdog. And uh, the, the, the right hemisphere is the underdog side of our world. The gifted child is a right hemisphere child. And there's no place for him in the school system. The school system is built only on the left hemisphere. Quantified, classified, graded, and so on. IQ tests are all left hemisphere tests. Einstein wouldn't have made 90 on, a, uh, on an IQ test. He was so right hemisphere, he could hardly talk. He, he certainly couldn't spell, and he couldn't even do mathematics. He was intuitive, and he had his friends help him to mathematicize his intuitions. But uh, there's a wonderful book about him, recent book by Foyer. It's called Einstein and the Generations of Science. It's a book of stories and anecdotes and dialogue between Einstein and a dozen or so of his friends when they were growing up in Zurich and Bern and so on. Anyway, the, the right hemisphere is the underdog side. Western man has not used it very much. It is the third world. It is the Orient. The Orient and the third world are 100% right hemisphere. That's why they're backward. That is, they, they can't forge ahead quantitatively the way the left hemisphere does. Are you using backward with a little bit of irony and... Oh yeah, why sure, because the, the gifted people are all very backward. But our school system has no place for gifted people. And the universities likewise, no place for gifted people. They don't fit into the courses. They don't fit into anything. Let's back up a little bit. Um, you subscribe to the proposition that that we were basically right hemisphere people wandering around the world prior to the phonetic alphabet. Yeah, mankind for many, many eons was right hemisphere minus any development of the left. 